It's a beautiful day. <laughs>
the Disney uh, photographers, they are in a green tent. I was so lucky I stayed to the left because apparently they were there. And so I had a couple of great shots of myself in front of the Cinderella castle while running. It was so, so great. I also grabbed a moment to take it in. I love to take mental notes and I was doing it. I was there. I remember everything. Take that time to make a mental note and shut down for just three seconds and remember your experience. I don't know what mile this is. I hope I'm getting closer. Still seems really good. <laughs> The Hall of Presidents. I hope I get to see Princess Jasmine. Thank you. Ah, I wonder when it's gonna hit and mood is gonna change. But so far, so good. So badass. Look at this girl. All strength. At mile six. When you exit Magic Kingdom, there's nothing. There are highways and yeah, you'll see your characters here and there. It's tough because you had such a high going to the castle that it's hard to bring it down. So they are giving you water throughout the race. They also have energy drinks, some gummies with caffeine, and I had about three bathroom stops, which maybe it's a lot, but I just had to go. <laughs> it is a little after mile eight, and I've been walking since mile eight. Uh, I'm a little tired, but uh, the ground is a little on an incline, so. Okay, we keep going. Every time people cheer, it's so nice. Well, now my left leg is giving me problems. But we're still going. Coco, Malta. I see Epcot coming up and I'm so excited. I can't wait to finish, but we still have some way to go. <laughs> After Jafar, things were challenging. Because I had stopped, I kind of got comfortable. This is where I started walking. My mind wanted to run, but my body was just giving up. The thing that motivated me throughout the race were the events leading up to this moment. Plans that did not work out, training I did not complete. I was scared of failure. I wanted to finish the race and I wanted to get the medal and I felt like I deserved it. So I kept going and I keep thanking my body throughout the race.
see that Epcot ball, you know you're close. But for some reason, I felt like it was taking forever <laughs> to get there. But I kept going and just the excitement and then you get to see more people and people are cheering on you, they, they believe in you and you know you signed up for this, you wanted to do this for yourself and you keep going. <laughs> You're almost there, you see the finish line, I got so emotional. I could not keep a straight face. I wanted my happy picture at the end, but I found myself just overcome with emotion and I felt so proud. I did it. I am here. I crossed the finish line. Nobody did this for me. I did this on my own. Nobody is running the race for you. You did this. Thank you, body. Thank you, mind. And thank you, heart. You did this. You did this. And now you get your medal. And then you get your fairy dust. <laughs> and then you get a, uh, your picture. You get a picture with your medal. There are many photographers. And then you get your Run Disney box. And then I had to find my mom. She was back at Magic Kingdom. I was so tired, but the best thing you can do after a race is keep walking. And so I did, oh boy, I did. Show up your medal at the parks. People are so happy to see you. And this is me checking my makeup. It did so good after a half marathon. Thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate you. If you want to know what products I use, to do my makeup for the Disney race and if you want to know how to recreate this Princess Jasmine inspired look please check my other video it will be up soon and thank you goodbye hmm.